Hi everyone, welcome to Mindful Crafts and More, I'm Katrina. If this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome. Take a look at this video or any of my other videos. If you find yourself inspired, join my channel. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. I really appreciate you just hanging out with me for a bit. So, hi everyone. This is going to be video uh, number eight, but we're going to open up number eight and number nine of our mystery stitch marker pack that I purchased from the beautiful Ellie over at Ellie Labas Crafts and More. It has been a wonderful, wonderful surprise each day to open up the um, stitch markers. And I want to say thank you so much, Ellie, for the opportunity to just share your beautiful um, creations with others. I thank you so much. Um, and if you guys haven't checked her out, please go over and check out her channel. Um, she's a, you know, up and coming channel and she needs some family members. Okay. So just go and check her out. Okay. Consider subscribing and check out some of the things that she's making. I do believe she has a new stitch marker mystery pack, um, that she is creating right now. And she has some little teasers. So please check that out. Also check out the other content creators who, previously um, purchased and uploaded videos of this particular series of stitch markers. They had wonderful unboxings and content and you guys were, are in for a treat. Okay, so please check them out. All right, so before we get into that, um, this series is about the stitch markers, talking a little bit about heart health or health issues, as well as uh, going ahead and sharing with you guys either something I'm making or um, something that I'm up to or just important things during the month of February. So come along with me. I'm going to try to do it as expeditiously as possible. So yes. All right. Now, what am I having for a snack today? So my snack today uh, came about because I ran out of my chia seeds. I make a protein powder and I add chia seeds to my oatmeal and some other things. And I had, I was down to just a few tablespoons of chia seeds. And I usually buy it as the 16 um, ounce um, container. Okay. And uh, when I do that, I have plenty. Okay. So I was running out and went to the store and I really wanted a snack with chia today, but it's going to take me a while to get what I want. So I put it together, it's in the fridge and it's setting up, it's gonna take overnight. In the meantime, I decided to go ahead and get something that I've tried when I was out and about. And I'm not sure if you guys know about it. It is called Chia Squeeze, all right? And this is one example, they come in multiple flavors. I am not um, a spokesman for the company. I purchased this with my own funds. And so this is not a sponsored ad or anything. This just happens to be something that I purchased that I've had before, okay? All right, so now what is this? So chia seeds are really important because they have a lot of fiber and they have a lot of omega-3, okay? Which all of those are really good for our health, all right? Um, and this particular one has blackberries in it. Okay, so your darker berries are really good uh, for your health and they have substances in them that can be heart healthy as well. Okay, so this is a wonderful, wonderful snack. Now, what is in it besides the chia and the blackberry? That's a good question. So in this is chia seed, organic apple puree, organic grape juice concentrate, organic blackberry puree, and organic blackberry juice concentrate. And it does say that there may be some other natural flavors like um, carrot um, or something like that. And there is some citric acid to help give it a little bit of zing. So uh, I'm not sure if it was in the form of um, lemon or lime or what have you, okay? So really nice, this is convenient. You can take it with you. You can choose to make it cold or just have it as is. I really like it. Um, it does have a texture thing. So for people who aren't able to handle, you know, different textures, this may or may not be something that you would like. 
Okay. But I do love Chia and I do love this. Um, now I have made a similar item to this before. So knowing the ingredients, you can kind of play around with them a little bit to get the flavors that you like and have yourself a kind of a Chia snack. Okay. So this is one snack for today. Now my other snack is popcorn. All right. So for my popcorn, this gives you a lot of fiber and also uh, some vitamins. I add savory ingredients to mine. So I use a very small amount of olive oil and I add onion, garlic, and parsley to mine. And I know that sounds odd guys, but I really like kind of savory um, popcorn. So, you know, um, go figure. You may want to try it out and see if you like it. This is my own blend inversion and I make this in the microwave. So I don't have to use oil at all if I don't want to, but I usually use a very small amount of olive oil. Okay, so that's my snack for today. All right, all of these things are good healthy snacks and some things that maybe you might wanna consider trying. All right, so now let's get to this dish markers. So here is my pack. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so I have number eight. and number nine. So number eight and number nine. That's what we're gonna open today, okay? All right, so let's take a look. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. All right. So this is number eight. And it is actually like a little um, globe. And it has little small crystals in it. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Now this has a lever back. Let's see. Okay, so beautiful lever back. I love it, Ellie. These are all just so beautiful. All right, so let's take a look at number nine. Oh, this one is beautiful too. All right, so this is number nine. It is a beautiful heart with a beautiful butterfly in there. Can you see that, guys? That's just beautiful. I love both of them. Awesome. Thank you, Ellie. All right, so everyone is just beautiful, right? Okay, so now what have I been up to? Well, um, I haven't been able to do as much crafting as I thought. Um, and so the health topic that I wanted to just briefly talk to you guys today about is portion control. Um, portion control can help us out in so many ways because once we get the idea of what the portion sizes are for the different food groups, then I think we then can adopt those things into new habits to kind of help us out if that's something that we needed to improve on. If you already have a good handle on portion sizes, of the different food groups and you don't have to worry at all about whether you're getting too much or too little of anything, then don't worry about it, right? Um, how can we go about doing that? Okay, so I purchased previously this kit 
and it is called Perfect Portions. Now, I'm not sure if they still have that particular kit available, but they do have portion control containers that can help you out to at least give you an idea of what a portion of a certain thing should be. All right, so I'm gonna show you the ones that I have here. Okay, so these are mine. And let's see if I can turn this so you can see them. Okay, so this comes as a set of seven containers, all right? These are two small containers for your seeds and dressing. And so if you look at that, that's just a tablespoon, okay? That's about the amount of seeds or dressing you should have. And it seems like a very small amount, right? But when we're trying to focus in on our health um, and you wanna get an idea, this will help you out, okay? Next, healthy fats. All right, so your healthy fats would be um, this size, and this is one third of a cup, all right? One third of a cup. Next, your proteins, okay? So your proteins, any type of protein, how much should you use? This one says it is three quarters of a cup. Now, sometimes they will tell you to look at the palm of your, head, your hand, especially if it is um, a dense, portion of protein, so about the thickness and about the size of the palm of your hand, or uh, cards, the regular size cards, about that amount would be about this, because it would be solid and you wouldn't you know, know how much it is, but about three quarters of a cup of what you would put in here for protein. All right, for carbs, carbs would be like your rice, your grains, right? Your rice or your potato or your pasta or things like that. All right. So this one is a half cup. All right. So that's how, like the other day, I was telling you about something and I said a half of it would be uh, maybe considered a portion. Um, yeah. So for carbs. So if you got rice or something like that, it's a half cup. So small amount, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. Okay. Next your veggies. Okay. So this is a one cup. This is a one cup container. And so your veggies should be about one cup portion. And then your fruit also about one cup portion. Okay. So I hope that that's helpful for anyone who maybe um, wanted to understand uh, portion sizes. This is what they are. Um, and it, helps you out to get a good start. I don't think you have to use these on a regular basis. Once you kind of get the hang of it, then you're off and running, all right? Now, portion control like this doesn't always work for everyone because for some people, it makes them a little bit more anxious that they have to put them in containers or really watch them and whatnot. And so if that is the case, then there are a lot of other methods that you can use to try to help to maintain a healthy um, eating style and maintain good weight and have good heart health. Okay. So this is only one suggestion and I'm just trying to put it out there to just help you guys and give you some options. Okay. So I hope it helps. All right. Now craft wise, what have I been doing? So I last month had shown some things that I had made in the month of January in preparing for February. And what I'm gonna show you next is one of the things that I made. Okay, so I was working on my socks and those are socks, um, the beautiful spine and lace socks that Priscilla over at Distinctive Crochet has made, all right? And as I was working on them, I stumbled upon a new method for casting on the toe of the sock. And I wanted to practice it. And of course I have to do a little sample in order to practice it before I start using whatever it is I wanna do. And I took some worsted weight yarn and I practiced with some larger needles. And this is what I came up with. So as you can see here, it is a seamless cast on and 
The cast on I used was called a Turkish cast on. It is very easy to do. And I went ahead and made these little pouches and uh, kind of made up uh, a little mini pattern. And if any of you guys are interested in the pattern, I'm ha happy to um, share it or maybe try to do a tutorial. I don't know how soon I could get it out, but I absolutely would be willing to share it. And um, yeah, if I'm able to write it up, then I'll let you guys know, okay? But these little pouches are just adorable. And you know what? They can do lots of things. So you can use these to hold your headphones. If you have the wireless headphones, they will fit in here and you can keep up with them. Um, or this could be to hold little trinkets or dish markers, all right? So lots of ways you could use this little pouch. I love it. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. All right, in addition to that, I am still working on my beanie, all right? And so this is where I am with my beanie. I do like the way it is working up. I am now ready to go ahead and just do the top to close it up and to do my decreases. Um, but this is my beanie, all right? And then last but not least, I actually was playing around with some paper and this was because a few of my Yarny friends had done some patterns working with this particular um, style. And I am looking for it right now and don't see it. Hmm. Wow, okay. I have to take out another one because I don't see the one that I had. Okay. So these are hearts. So this is me with my paper, okay? And so these are hearts, but they're woven. And because they're woven, you can open them up and you can put in there some little small candies or like a tea bag or something like that or a nice little treat for someone you love, all right? Very easy to do. Um, and you can make them with paper or you can make them with yarn, all right? So those are all the things that I have to share with you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed them. Please do me a favor and check out the channels of the people that I mentioned. Check out Ellie over at Ellie Leva. Check out Priscilla over at Distinctive Crochet. And um, check out the content creators who have done these videos. I think the playlist is over at Ellie's channel. All right, so that's all I have for today. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos, giving me a thumbs up, leaving me kind comments. I so appreciate it. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. So please do everything you can to be mindful, do everything you can to be at your best health. And by all means, guys, be crafty every day. I look forward to seeing you again, hopefully on tomorrow, where I do another unboxing of my mystery stitch marker pack. All right. And hopefully I'll be able to see you guys in one of your videos too. Take care now. Bye-bye.